Hey guys, it's Funk Roberts here with uh, from uh, from FunkMMA.com. I'm here with Ryan Ford, the man, the real deal. Ryan will be fighting in Bellator in 2012, so watch out. Uh, the fireworks are going to begin they in are. 2012. They are. I'm coming. I'm yes. coming for you. <laughs> okay, so Ryan, uh, first thing is, uh, how important is strength and conditioning to you in, in your preparation for fights? Um, you know, it's very important to me. I do at least uh, strength and conditioning uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three times a week. Um, you know. Uh, more of a like fight based um, strength and conditioning so you know five minute rounds you know three or four uh, rounds at a time right and um, you know I believe that you need, you need to be physically strong and your body needs to be conditioned too to uh, you know go a three or a five round fight hard. Absolutely absolutely. Um, what exercise or what workout is your go to uh, workout for every every training camp you know it's always going to be there you love doing it it's part of your uh, routine. Yeah um, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in like uh, circuit training. Uh, you know, um, for me, it's not heavy weights or um, high reps, but fast pace. You know, and hit that five minutes where you know at the end of that five minutes, um, oh, you know, you take everything out of me, get that minute recovery, do it again for the next two more rounds, right? Unbelievable, man. That's, that's that's I love that too. I love that too. Now, what exercise or workout do you hate doing? But you know you have to do it every single training camp. <laughs> Push the sled. <laughs> it's I, the sled, eh? Yeah, man. The sled is. You know what? It's it's. When I show up to the gym and I know I gotta push the sled, I'm like, man, I don't wanna do it. I literally wanna walk out the door and turn around. I gotta like psych myself up to go and do it. Yeah. But you know what? After I've done it, I thank God that I did it because you know what? I feel that much better. The legs and the glutes, the butt is, you know, not working properly, but you know what? Uh, it, it makes it easier in a fight, you know, to, you know, push that sled and that hard grind. Awesome, that's amazing. So, um, what fight do you remember you being in your best condition for? So you walked in that ring, you knew you were in the best condition. What fight would that be? You know what? I, 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 every fight, pretty much, you know, I'm always going in there for uh, the best conditioning. You know, there's been one fight where I never, you know, I took the guy a little lightly and I didn't think, I, you know, I had to do all the work that I had to do. Yeah. And um, you know what? It ended up, instead of me finishing him in the first round, it actually ended up me going all three rounds with him. So, right. you know, uh, if you look at all my fights, I've only gone to a decision, uh, I believe, twice. Right, so. uh, one with the Bill Khatib and then a five-round fight with uh, Pat Healy. So, That's right. Wow. You know, and that, yes. that five-round fight, too, it wasn't uh, your typical stand-up fight. It was uh, wrestling right. and grappling, right? And wrestling and grappling uses more strength and conditioning than, you know, stand-up and, uh, you know, use the fists and kicks. So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know, I make sure I'm in good shape every fight, you know, because you don't want to be that guy that's not in good shape because as soon as those hands drop, you drop. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I love that, man. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to I'm gonna remember that. Um, any any tips for the fighters? In, in terms of conditioning, what can you tell someone who's coming up, uh, you know, through the ranks, either amateur trying to become pro or just starting MMA? Yeah, you know, uh, I believe that, uh, you know, if you're just starting MMA, um, your conditioning, you know, you don't really have to put that all to use. Like, you know, some guys overtrain and they want to do all this conditioning, 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 but they seem to realize that you're fighting. So, you know, a big believer me and I am on too is uh, conditioning too, sparring. Because, you know what, I can do all the weightlifting and all the pushing sleds and running and stuff, but nothing is like a fight except for sparring, right? So, um, you know, if you're lacking on skills, well, maybe, and you already have the athleticism, you have the strength, well, you know what, I think you need to sharpen up on these skills. If you're not really that strong and you're not really that athletic, well, then I think you need to put that type of program in with you mixing in all your skills. So, you know, a lot of people are different, right? A lot of people's bodies are different. A lot of people uh, train different. They do all that type of stuff, right? So, uh, you know, I believe you got to sit down with somebody that, you know, is helping you out, who's getting you in to what you really want to do yeah. and sit down, make a program that fits you because, you know, the program that uh, fits George St. Pierre, you know, may not be a program that fits Ryan Real Deal for. That's right. You know, right, so, yeah. you know, everybody's different and, you know, I believe you got to yourself awesome man. That's, that's, that's a great tip that's a great tip okay finally last question you have a fight you've got two opponents one opponent is less skilled but more conditioned than you are the other opponent is 
more skilled but less conditioned than you are, who are you fighting? You gotta choose one. I'm fighting the more skilled, less conditioned <laughs> because me, if you look at all my fights, I come out, push that pace. Right. You know, so you know, you'll find out if a guy's conditioned or not in the first two, three minutes of the first round. And uh, you know what? He may have all the skills, but as soon as his gas goes, it's over. There you go, guys. So you got it from Brian, the real deal <laughs> forward. Uh, thanks a lot, Ryan. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks Always a lot, good. Look forward uh, to seeing you in Bellator 2012 and all the rest of your fights. You're probably my favorite fighter in uh, in MMA history. Thanks, thanks so brother. thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Keeping it G'd up from the feet up. Absolutely. You get beat up. <laughs>